Okay guys, a warm welcome to everybody to my channel and I'm going to share some stuff with you guys today. I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys my helmet video log setup uh, that I've got. This is just a very quick view of the helmet. It's a carbon fibre stealth helmet, pretty much like any other style of helmet when it comes down to putting a video log setup on. It's all pretty much the same sort of thing. We'll start by quickly just showing you the front. We've got the original GoPro mount, which has been mounted to the front of this chin mount. Um, and we've got two adjustable knuckles that are extended out just so that we can mount the case. Now just an overview of what we've got here in front of us. This is the hardware that I've decided to go for. So we have the Purple Panda microphone. This has been recommended from another video. I bought this directly from the GoPro website for £50. The other thing you're going to need is a camera. I've chosen to go for the GoPro Hero 8. At the time of purchase this was £279. Okay, so I decided to go for the Ulanzi case with this GoPro. This, this is actually the Ulanzi G85, and the reason why I went for this is because if I remove the door, it accommodates the adapter nicely. So if you just open this back door, this is how your camera goes in. Now just remember guys, with the camera, you will have to remove the side door. So this is the side door that comes with the GoPro Hero 8. You'll have to remove that completely, and only then it will slot in. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is use the door that the G85 came with. Slide that in. Now this can connect directly into the camera like so. This actual part of the Yolanzi case that holds the adapter, it can be tightened up with a small black grub screw. If you can see that right there, you just need an Allen key set, find the right size. And just tighten that very slightly. You don't want to over tighten it because it is just plastic and it's very easy to break if you're heavy handed. And just check it to make sure it's nice and tight to your liking. That's not moving now. That's not that's not going anywhere. So now we've got the GoPro set up. Um, and again, the good thing about this Ulanzi case is you can put 52 millimeter filters on top. Now what I do is I've actually got a couple of filters here that you can see. Uh, these are just UV filters. I'm just using them as a screen protector because we're going to be riding uh, a bike doing some speeds there can be stones and all sorts that come up and the last thing I want especially on the GoPro Hero 8 is this lens being hit and then being deemed useless and on the GoPro Hero 8 uh, the lens cannot be changed unlike the 7 GoPro Hero 7 with the lenses at the front these can actually be changed if they get damaged you can't do that with the GoPro Hero 8 so all I've done is I bought a couple of these filters cheap ones off the internet and they just screw onto the case like this. And that's it. That's the way we go. So we've got our adapter on. We've got our uh, protective filter case on. All we've got left to do now is pretty much mount it to the, uh, the helmet. Not to forget the door. So that's all done now. So let's put this to a side. That camera is pretty much ready to go onto the helmet. Let's move on to the, the actual um, means of talking and getting good clean audio into that. I've already mounted the microphone. The microphone I've got here, it's just over here and it's actually got a dead cap filter. Now the purple panda system comes with a dead cap filter that stops, it minimizes wind noise and we've heard really good things about this. I'm yet to test this, but all I've done is wired it and hid the wires behind this uh, cheek uh, foam. Uh, and that's that's hidden quite nicely. The wire's not really, really long. It's just, uh, it's just rolled up and just put into the back here. We'll go underneath. You can see that the wire has just been tucked in nicely and it comes out to the bottom, just at the bottom of the chin guard, right in the middle of the chin guard and just comes up to here. This mount is actually the original GoPro um, mount that comes with the Hero 8. So we've utilized that and we've just put a couple of knuckles in place. There'll be a link in the description for all these bits and bobs that you can get for, for to make this uh, set up for yourself. These are the screws that we're using. Again, sizes and the link in the, will be in the description below. And these are really good because this is what allows us to tighten these up and minimize having these big thumb screws uh, that usually the GoPros come with and these action cameras come with. So this is what worked for me. I've had to extend it a little bit further out for the Ulanzi case to be accommodated, but that's quite simple. It just goes on here. And then we would use a normal thumb screw to just hold that in place. Going over the Purple Panda stuff, so 
We've already hooked up the microphone for this. It comes in a pretty nice bag. Uh, this is this one's actually come from uh, it came directly from Purple Panda. I ordered it through the through eBay. It's taken around about three weeks to arrive, but nonetheless, it's here and it's come just in time. Let's go through some of the stuff that this comes with. So the dead cat that came with this, which is already on the uh, helmet, it was in a separate bag. I put that on and I and I removed the foam that was originally on it and just put it to a side because I won't be needing that. Comes with another adapter over here for different devices. We've got an extension cable as well in case you were using this for a different application and it comes with a micro, a mini USB to a 3.5. Again, this is just to accommodate different devices. In this application, if you're going to do the same thing like I've done, which is use it as a helmet cam, none of these accessories are really going to uh, be any good. The only thing that probably may be beneficial to you is it comes with this all metal clip. So this clip is pretty strong metal this is all made from. The only part that's plastic is this little C clip that um, connects to the microphone. Obviously that needs to be plastic because it's got to be flexible to clip the mic in. So that's pretty good. Uh, I was actually going to use this on the inside, just clip it on. But in my instance, uh, in my case, this dead cat and the mic just sat perfectly and it's just not moving. So I have no need for this. So I can put all these bits and bobs to a side. But that's the Purple Panda microphone. And I paid around 30 pounds in total, including delivery for it to get there. Um, the cheapest parts of this whole setup were the filters. They're only around one pound fifty. This took again about three weeks to arrive from China. Fifty-two millimeter. Now I don't really need a UV filter. I'm purely using this to protect my camera. That's the only use this serves for me. I bought a couple of them. Like I said again, if a stone chip comes throwing up and breaks the camera lens, then I'd rather one pound fifty go out my pocket than you know the two hundred and seventy-nine I paid for the actual camera. So yeah, that's pretty much the video log setup that I've got for you guys. Just thought I'd show you a lot. This is again, it's my first YouTube video. So I thought I'd uh, just let you lot know what I've learned from my experiences with watching other guys uh, and and, and uh, building up my own setup. So at the moment, we're yet to try this. There will be some more videos in the pipeline of us using this setup with this helmet. And I'll give you guys an update. If you have any comments, please let me know. If there's any questions you have as well at the same time, please just let us know. And if you like the video and um, you want to see more of what we do, please hit subscribe, like button and hit that bell icon.